we live in uh, very interesting times, a Chinese curse. We're faced with a number of challenges that collectively will change everything about how we live and do business. For example, we're losing every major ecosystem on the planet. We live in a carbon-constrained world, if not a global climate crisis. We are probably at or approaching peak oil. We certainly have volatile energy prices. One day they're astronomically high and then they're crashing. We uh, are going to have to change how we do business. The business as usual is driving all of this unsustainability. So how do we begin? One of the best places is with the building sector. Most of us spend most of our time inside of buildings, on average 90%. The building sector is responsible for a third of total energy use, two-thirds of electricity use, depending on where you are, 40 to 90% of carbon emissions. And the way in which we build buildings, either with pouring concrete, which we dig up at great energy cost, calcine at great energy cost, pour, which then releases CO2, is not an answer. Chopping down the world's forests is not an answer. Uh, digging up iron at great energy cost, turning it into steel at great energy cost, and building steel buildings is not an answer. I'm personally very fond of growing our answer with technologies like bamboo. Bamboo is a grass, it's not a tree. It grows much faster. It will deliver you a structural crop within four to six years, and in so doing, soaks up a tremendous amount of carbon. 40 times as much carbon per weight as an equivalent tree, because it's grass, not a tree. You grow the bamboo in short order, chop it down, turn it into a house like this, where it stands for hopefully years and years. You've taken carbon out of the air and turned it into a living structure. Pretty nifty technology. Obviously, the craftsmanship that went into this house is employing people in high-quality labor, thus taking people, let's say, where this house came from in Vietnam, and giving them a way out of poverty. And you can do that all across Southeast Asia or across Latin America, much of Africa, or across much of the South, Southeast of the United States. You can grow bamboo just fine. And it can be the basis of manufactured products like flooring and, and walls, of kit homes, eco-lodges, and indeed a, an entire home industry. So it's not the only answer to solving all of the world's problems, but it's, it's certainly a pretty nifty one. And done correctly with a whole systems approach to ensuring that you're using appropriate species of bamboo, that the workforce is treated well, that you're producing high value added products, that the money is staying in the community circulating around, can be an important part of lifting people out of poverty. Something like half the world's people live on less than $2 a day. Try it sometime, you won't like it. And these sorts of approaches to local community-based economic development can be a very important part of the answer.